Welcome to Central News for Tuesday, July 10th. I'm Keisha Dillings. In today's news, police are trying to identify two extremely low intellect men and locate a vehicle involved in the aggravated robbery of two French tourists on State Highway 2 in Papamoa at about 4pm on Saturday afternoon. Two 21-year-old tourists were hitchhiking from Mount Maunganui to Rotorua when they were picked up in a vehicle with two occupants. The vehicle pulled into a lay-by on State Highway 2 next to Welcome Bay Road and parked behind an empty building where the tourists were assaulted and had their money, passports, some clothing and other possessions stolen. The two occupants of the vehicle drove away towards Te Puki. Anyone with information relevant to this investigation is asked to contact Tauranga Police on 07 577 4300. Alternatively, information can be provided anonymously via Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 a Paeroa teenager who went missing in the Koerangi Valley in the Coromandel has been found cold and uninjured after becoming separated from her champion companion on Sunday. The 17-year-old girl was walking ahead of her companion when she took a wrong turn and her companion raised the alarm when she hadn't reached their destination. Search teams from the Thames Land SAR group were deployed into the forest and the girl was located near the car park just before 6.30pm on Sunday night, three hours after she had been reported missing. Senior Sergeant Graham Shields of Thames Police says the tramper, who was not experienced, mistook the pink markers of a possum line for proper track markers and left the track, ending up in the Kawairanga River. Tauranga firefighters are reminding homeowners to check their flues and chimneys after the sight of falling embers sparked a call to an Otemuetai house on Sunday evening. The Brinkley Road residents called the fire service at 6.20pm when they spotted embers falling down inside the flue. Tauranga senior firefighter Jim Carter says a suspected fire in the roof turned out to be a fault in the flue which would have been found if the fireplace had been cleaned and inspected. When most people are looking forward to a life of leisure, Trevor and Annette Davidson are looking to embark on a new business venture, a fish farm in Kati Kati. The couple believe aquaculture is the future for sustainable commercial fishing and after seeing an article on TV1's country calendar, Trevor was inspired to get involved. Trevor says initially he was interested in power production, but at the end of the show on country calendar they said there were opportunities for fin fish farming, so he visited the Bream Bay facility up north. Once the first stage is productive, Trevor predicts harvesting at least 7.2 tonnes of fish per week. The fish will be stung on site and trucked to bay packers in Mount Maunganui for processing. Farmers in the Bay of Plenty are experimenting to see if controlling floods can capture phosphorus runoff during storms, preventing further pollution of Lake Rotorua. About 12 tonnes of phosphorus gets carried into Lake Rotorua each year during storms, contributing to poor water quality and algae blooms. Bay of Plenty Regional Council staff are leaving the P project with support from Dairy NZ and are aiming to find out if flood water dammed on farms for a time will prevent phosphorus runoff reaching the lake. Five large detainment buns have been built on the Rotorua farms and will be tested until the end of the year. Time to check out our region's weather. Tauranga, you are heading for a high of 14 and low of 2 again, mainly fine with some light winds. Hamilton, after the brutally cold low of negative 3 last night, will be another chilly one with a low of 0 degrees and high of 13, also mainly fine with light winds. Coming up after the break, we talk to the author of I Met My Soul in a Coffee Shop, a local community weight loss coach shares her secrets, and Bayfair's planting project. Join us after the break. <laughs> 